McCormack in the mix. Sailor FM. Oh, 103.2. Good old Cormac. I miss him. We used to be on on a Wednesday and he would be on after us. Uh, he's like the Phil FM version of Mae McFetridge. But yes, definitely listen to him on a Wednesday from 7 to 9 o'clock. Uh, but moving back to our show right now, if you like your local music, we've got NI Chart coming up in about 20 minutes' time. Well, they will tell you what's number one at the minute. Now, this next band have been in the top ten. I don't think they are at the minute. Um, but what initially attracted our attention uh, was their name. Because, well, let, let's just bring in the, the lead singer first. Uh, Jarlath Cohen is on the line. Are you well, Jarlath? Hello, yes. Uh, Jarlath, first of all, tell us the name of your band. The name of the band is Little Sausage Disorder. Little Sausage Disorder. Now, would you, now, now you must get giggles whenever you tell people that. I uh, um Well, it all started just, it was the bass player came up with it just randomly before a gig. And we've tried to change it, you know, but it's just stuck. So there. did you regret it afterwards? Whenever, whenever I really regretted it, but... It was kind of just, it started as a joke, you know, so... Because what I was going to say was you could you could shorten it, you know, like Prince did and all the different ones, so it's like initials, but then you would get LSD, yeah. which yeah, doesn't... That's, that's sort of our excuse, you know, if we're trying to sound a bit more serious, it would be LSD, but from a humorous sort of side, it would be Little Sausage Disorder. But where did it actually come from? You're, are you from Cookstown yourself? Yeah, we're all from Cookstown. So um, it's all about the little sausages from Cookstown, yeah? Oh, uh, that's... A lot of people have claimed that, yeah. It's Cookstown, the land of sausages, right? Is that not what it is? Um, well, I suppose it is, yeah. <laughs> well, tell us, a bit, tell us a bit more about the band. You're the lead singer and guitar player, did you say? Yeah. Well, it's me on... I'm the lead singer and guitar. And, uh, there's also Johnny Ryan on lead guitar and vocals, um, Bob Hutchinson on bass, and Ryan Ruddy on drums. Um, well, when did you guys start up? Well, uh, the other three guys, apart from me, started it just there in summer of 2009 and then shortly it was two or three months after they asked me just to play one show with them just for the crack so from there on I just stuck with them and never left them. <laughs> what, what would you, if you could sort of map out your summer and play a few festivals what would you like to play? Yeah, well at the minute we're thrown together you know a press pack or whatever just pictures and songs and stuff so we're hoping just to get them sent off you know maybe the likes of Glasgowberry and Anywhere else, we're just keeping an eye out, you know, checking online or whatever for any sort of local festivals and just play anywhere, anytime, you know, just any gigs, doesn't matter to us, we're happy to play as long as the people listen. Well, um, tell us a little bit more about yourselves as well, like if people want to find out more about your music, where where can they get a bit more there? Well, um, just online, we, we would work a lot from with MySpace, myspace.com forward slash little sausage disorder and... You can search it on the likes of Ebo, Facebook, and Last FM as well. I have to, I have to say this next bit. I'm not actually asking you, but do people not feel the need to ask you if you do have that disorder? I'm not asking you. Oh yeah, that happens all the time. We'll say to people the name of the band, and they'll go, "Oh, it suits you rightly." You know, <laughs> that's just the way it is. But um, what can you do? It's just all in a bit of fun, really. Well, this is where you wink and you say, "Well, you know, it's not always as obvious as it may seem." Oh, I. <laughs> I can prove it to you if you want. No, no, let's not, let's not go too far. Well, Jarlath, we'll look out for you in the, the listings for the festivals over the next uh, next couple of uh, months, and good luck to you. We're going to play you uh, one of your songs. It's called 13 Going In 30. What's this song about? Oh, yes. Um, the song in general, it's just, to be honest, there's no proper meaning behind it. It was just a pile of lyrics that came together, and the name's kind of a joke that I'm sure a lot of people can work out for themselves. You all sound very organised, I have to say, Jarlath. Well, listen, uh, Tracy has one question for you as well before we go. Well, just when you were mentioning festivals there, Jonathan, have you heard of Pigstock? Pigstock? Yeah. Yes, it's actually our bass player's brother uh, is friends with one of the organisers. <laughs> right, it's all becoming clear, because I was going to suggest that would be the perfect match for you to play at that, yeah, so we played it last I, year and it was great crack. I, it sounds is... great, we've been in touch with them, I think, with, I think they have our EP at the minute, so we're just waiting on word back nearly. Best of luck with that then. Fingers crossed, hope for the best. Listen, Jarlath, thank you for coming on and talking to us and all the best um, with your musical career. And we're going to play, uh, like I say, 13 going in 30. So have a, a great week and we'll maybe come back to and speak to us if you're up at number one there in the NI chart. No problem, I'd love to. Take care, Jarlath. Right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Uh, he was quite nice. Um, I have to admit I was slightly nervous um, because I hadn't spoken to him before um, with a band called uh, Little Sausage Disorder, but he seemed fairly, fairly, fairly sane. You're nearly embarrassed about it. A little bit. I think it's probably wearing on them a little now, all the... The usual reactions, I'm sure.
Well, are you all slightly, because um, like I say, this came up a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago, when we initially, they were in the top ten for NI Chart, and we thought, well, that's a very strange name for a band. Were you intrigued as to what kind of sound they're going to have? I am. Uh, if you had a guess, because you've not heard this song, I've heard it, so I know what it's like. I think... Are they I just had a guess. Yes. Some sort of weird death thrash metal or something. Oh. Are they headbangers? Uh, oh, God. I think it's more like... <laughs> Ignore that thing, what she just said. I'm going to put... Sorry, hold on. I'll just turn her mic off. There we go. That's her gone. Unfortunately, she's so loud you can pick her up on Carolyn's mic as well. So what were you saying? I would say they'd probably have the sound of some 41 or... Uh, what do you call it? Blink-182 or some sort of American rock boy band type? Well, it's time to find out. This is Little Sausage Disorder and 13 going in 30. <laughs> from the lead singer a few minutes ago, Jonathan Cohen from Little Sausage Disorder. I have to really be careful when I say that. Bit of a tongue twister. And 13 going in 30. If you want to download this song for free, you can go to nichart.com right now. And the MP3 is sitting there just waiting on you to download it. Don't forget you can text us tonight if you want to. 60300 is the text number. Start your message with the word failure. And you'll be charged at your standard network rate. It's about five to eight. We've got another, what, an uh, hour and a half left, just over. NITrot.com is uh, still to come. We'll be talking to Tristan from there. We'll also be speaking to the number one. Is it a new number one? Ellipsis have been number one for the last two weeks.